Okay, guys, so to start off, Crosshair's rifle. I have this main section done. So I just used this template, flipped it over, used it twice. And then I, in the holes, I just filled it in with some angled pieces of cardboard. And then these are the pieces we're going to be using for some of the bottom part of the rifle. So the handguard the trigger and trigger guard and this little box don't know what it is but when we have i'm going to trace this out cut it out and then get into a time lapse of gluing everything together so let's go okay guys so what i'm going to start with are just some pieces of cardboard in the shape of the guard and just some strips of cardboard to glue them together to make them one solid piece i'm going to be doing this for basically all of the steps including the stock and some of the detail boxes on top of the rifle. So when they're done, I am just moving on to the next piece. Then I'll be gluing them on to the rifle, as you see here. So the main body is coming out pretty well. The main body consists of just the body of the gun and then the stock, because the barrel is removable. So you see, I have this little box that I'm gluing on, and then the trigger guard is just a piece of cardboard attaching the handle to another box that I'm assuming is the ammo. Then we have a cardboard tube attached to the front, adding some pieces of cardboard for detail, and some grips. You see that big, like, box shape with a cut in it. Then I'm just gluing some cardboard in there to give it a nice tapering effect. And then little strips of cardboard at the bottom for a grip. Okay, guys, so right now we have the main body of Crosshair's rifle figured out. Now what I'm going to work on is the stock. And for that, I have a paper template. I'm going to cut it out twice. Use the same method of the handle gluing the pieces together. And then going to add a few details, so let's go. Okay, so what I'm doing for the stock is just layering the cardboard very similar to the body of the gun i have to do it on the outside and the inside just making a big sandwich of cardboard then the details which is in another time lap um insist of some raised details and some wrap arounds to give it this textured look so in this video all you're seeing me make is the body because the actual rifle barrel i made an instagram live my instagram is the exact same as my youtube Star Wars DIY is very cool, and I post a bunch of progress pictures way before videos are out. So you see me right now working on some of the details. I glued on those two side panels, and I'm marking out where to put the wrap rounds, and then, well, wrapping them around. You see, glue, gluing the panels on now, there's the last one right there. And then taking some strips of cardboard and wrapping them around the um, stock of the rifle. So yeah, the Instagram Live doing the barrel and off camera is the scope. Scope is just cardboard tube and some pieces of cardboard tubes wrapped around it to give them some depth. It's really nothing important. But when this piece really comes alive is in the painting and weathering stage. But first, nothing. Let's get right into that. Okay, guys, so I'm laying out my two pieces. Then I'm spraying them with black spray paint. And then what this lays down is just a nice base coat for weathering, which I'm actually trying a new method this time. So I'm taking, like, a plastic bag and then painting it onto the bag and then wiping it along the rifle to give it a nice chipped effect. Because it all bunched up so the paint isn't all in one area. And I think it looks really good. Now this is a project I'm working on editing this video. So let's go see the final product and a sneak peek. Thank you for watching till the end. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.